how long does it take to get PhD? PhD takes three years to get. Now, this is the normal and direct answer for me if you want to know the length and the duration of PhD. Now, if you want to know strictly how long is PhD, it usually takes three to nine years. You can listen to it, three to nine years. Yes, it seems to be very long. Now, why PhD is too long uh, to get? This is what I'm going to answer you clearly. Now, PhD is not something uh, a qualification based uh, course or a degree or a program. PhD is a program uh, usually depends upon the amount of research that you make and uh, the duration of time in which you take to do research and later on submit a thesis. If you submit your thesis late, which means you are doing PhD late. So it is very important that you do your research in time and submit your PhD thesis in certain number of years. This is uh, too difficult because a thesis consists of 250 pages. Now these 250 pages of research needs to be written qualitatively, which means you, you need to take at least three years to do this task. Now after submitting your PhD thesis, you need to go with VIVA. This, is, this takes another six months to complete PhD VIVA. And yeah, generally, if you ask me, anywhere in the world, PhD takes around three to five years and if you delay, it can go up to nine years. There are two things you must understand. Uh, which type of PhD you prefer? The length of PhD also uh, depends upon th the type of PhD you opt for. Now, these are the types of PhD. Full-time PhD, part-time PhD, online PhD or distance PhD. And if, if you opt one of these, then the time element changes here. The length of PhD changes. Now, first is first. If you join in full-time PhD, which is the best among all these types, full-time PhD means you are staying in the university campus in a day's time and you attend every day for three years and do your research and complete within three years. Of course, it may go up to four years to finish some formal tasks. This is full-time PhD. So anywhere in the world, full-time PhD doesn't go more than four years if you do it perfectly. And the second type is part-time PhD. Now part-time PhD is when you don't want to stay in the university, but you do your job normally outside and you register for part-time PhD under any university and you casually visit the university this type of PhD uh, may take around uh, five years to complete five to six years again when I say three for full time for part time it is five and again it goes up to six years to complete certain formal tasks so this is this is the time element this is the length of part-time PhD anywhere in the world and the other type of PhD is online PhD nowadays some universities are offering online PhDs I don't suggest you to go with such type of PhDs in any way because you don't have recognition anyhow uh, online PhD is just casually if you want to keep doctor as a title in front, uh, beside your name name but it doesn't give you any career prospects of course it may give you if you are well and uh, uh, super talented but otherwise 
uh, online PhDs are a matter of qualification and not uh, a quality. So that's why be careful. If you want to be qualitatively good tomorrow, better avoid doing online PhDs. And in part, online PhD, online, online PhD uh, okay, I want to tell you the duration. The duration of uh, online PhD is one to two years. <laughs> so if you have enough money in your hand, you can even negotiate to get it done within a year. Or if you want to go with normally, it may go up to two years. So online PhD is very easy to do. And... Uh, uh, most of the universities who offer online PhD are fascinated with the duration of it uh, in front of money. So it happens. The next is distance PhD. It is as equal as online PhD. Also, you don't uh, you do everything in distance mode. Um, even this PhD is like one and a half year to two years. Also, you will get in hand. This is a type of PhD you can get it. So these are the types formally we have uh, in the world, formally we get in the world. So anywhere, even in your country or in any country, this is what exactly. If you ask uh, how long uh, does it take to get a PhD, probably this, this is what happens. Now, in the beginning, I mentioned it may go up to nine years. Uh, it happens when, uh, especially in part-time PhD, when you don't submit your thesis or when you don't really take care, you are involved in your regular job and uh, you put a break to your PhD or many things may happen. So you do it again, you re-register your PhD and it may take around sometimes your guide may stop it. Many things, many hurdles are there in PhD. I see a number of people quit PhD in the middle of nowhere. So you must be very careful in every step, uh, in every move in your PhD life, in your PhD journey. Uh, this is what about PhD. And I want to also mention that nowadays some universities are offering PhDs just uh, by taking money. Now remember, never pay any money to any consultant to get PhD instantly. 99% there are fake degrees. They seem to be very real uh, in front of you. The consultants may seem promising, but unfortunately it is not. So be careful to pay money to get your PhD fast or be careful to talk to cons uh, when you are talking to consultants. They may brainwash you and ask you some money to get a genuine uh, PhD a certif degree in hand uh, in exchange for money. Uh, these things uh, uh, may not be recognized any time in your life. You will be caught any point of time. So you will lose your uh, precious uh, life. My advice is you can go with part-time PhD or full-time PhD. These both are considered regular PhDs, which have tremendous value anywhere in the world. And especially if you want to have your PhD a good and great value, you can do it uh, in European countries like UK, Germany, or also you can do in US or Australia. Uh, well, these all countries uh, have got enough uh, recognition uh, for PhDs. Uh, also, if you are unable to uh, spend money to go to these universities, you at least do sincerely in your own country, uh, joining in any university. Uh, finally, what matters to your PhD is you do it sincerely and genuinely and you get your certificate and uh, get involved in research and be improve your skill and talent and contribute to the society your research ideas about the topic you are dealing with this is where you can do justice to your phd so how long does it take to get a phd if you work if you invest hard in research 
and if you are able to submit thesis in time and do PhD viva effectively in time it is not more than three years for full-time PhD and for part-time PhD it's not more than five years if you do it perfectly so I wish you best of luck go ahead and register to full-time or part-time PhD and complete it in three years or four years so the length of PhD don't worry about it things will go fine as the dates go by time passes away swiftly because you are involved in research if you have any doubt you can also visit my article how long does it take to get a PhD on my website phdstudytips.com where you will have in-depth information subject wise country wise and uh, the type of PhD you are taking uh, which uh, I can't even take much of your time on YouTube so uh, this is how you can uh, get knowledge from my website too so thank you and best of luck